Hey, this is Ralph, and I want to continue playing around with uh, layouts with headers and footers. So in the last video, we just did a little one-column layout with a header and footer. Very simple in structure. It was simple HTML and simple CSS. So the HTML, basically the body of my page contains a con has a container, and within that container, there's a clearly defined header using header tags. There's a clearly defined main content area using a div with ID main, and there's a clearly defined footer area using the set of footer tags. And then I simply went over to my CSS file, and I manipulated each of these using um, background colors so it would stand out to you, and uh, some min heights just once again so it'll stand out that we've got ourselves a one column layout with header and footer. So let's kind of tweak this a bit and let's move along to the uh, two column layout. And there's lots of ways we can manage this kind of stuff. And there's tons of examples out there. Practically every blog you go to is a two column layout. Let's see if I can't find a quick example for you. Here we go. So this is a, uh, a blog I've read from time to time, sectionhiker.com. And it's a typical blog layout. We've got story summaries over here on the left, taking the main content area. Actually, let's start off at the top here. We've got a header section. Their header contains their branding, and it also contains a navigation menu, horizontal navigation menu. And then we've got a main column over here, and then we've got the uh, sidebar, okay? Secondary column. Sec and blogs often have their sidebar column off to the right if it's a two-column layout, so nothing unusual about that. Got that secondary column, and if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, we've got this big header section. And their header is actually div divided up into three columns there. But otherwise, we can think of this as the big header section. So uh, this is what we would call a two-column web page layout. Nice, simple structure, very, very common. So let's, uh, let's try that. And it's easy enough to adapt what I have here. Let's see, I'm working on my layouts 1.html. I'm going to go ahead and save this with a new name. I'll call it layouts 2 since this is a two column layout and I'm also going to change my CSS file to layout2.css change my CSS file to layout2 alright so I've got my page layouts with header and footer I'll keep that same title though couple ways we can go about this. I've already got this main content area. I could divide my main content area up into two parts, and I think I'll try that. So I'm going to go and give myself room to work, and within my main content area, I'm going to have my div ID equals uh, column 1, and this will be That'll be my new main content area. And then I'm also going to have ID equals sidebar. OK, so I've taken my main content area and I've split it up into two parts, my column one and my sidebar. So let's see what's going on with this with the CSS. I'm going to save my HTML, jump over to my styles. And I'm going to focus over here where I have this main section. Currently, my main has got a yellow background and a min height. I'm going to leave that for now. And I've got my column one to deal with. My column one, I'll do a background color uh, blue. I'm going to leave the height off for a second just so you can see the difference here. Oops, wrong symbol. And I've also got my sidebar to deal with. My sidebar, I'll do a background color um, gray and we'll kind of finish it there all right so let's see what's going on so we've got uh, blue and gray that we should now see and I don't see it so I must have made a typo somewhere so let's jump back over and check things out I do have a little color coding flux here so let's see if I mistyped something Got, oh, you know what? I'm, I'm looking at the wrong page. That's right. This is layouts one. I need to be looking at layouts two. Ah, there we go. So there's the blue and the gray. Notice I can still see the yellow underneath, but we're going to fix that soon enough. So I want you to kind of ignore that yellow for a second. And if you find it too problematic, what if you, what if it was just white? 
okay so just focus on that blue and the gray and I want this to be a two column layout I want to have this main column and a sidebar a couple ways to go about this my column one let's see I'm dealing with a fixed width I believe right yeah my my container is 990 pixels wide so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my main column one 690 pixels wide okay that gives me 300 pixels of space left for my sidebar technically I don't need to put a width in there but I'm gonna take this piece by piece so I'm making my width of column 1 690 pixels let me save that go back to my browser refresh there we go so my blue main column is a little bit narrower now now check this out when I add a float left to that main column there we go see the grade bar the gray bar slides up right next to it now I'm gonna do this I'm gonna put in min height I'll just copy paste and paste for the column one in the sidebar refresh and here we go so now we've got this new layout I'm gonna do one more change that you're not gonna really notice anything but I like to do it and I'm gonna make the margin left of my sidebar equivalent to the width of the column one no noticeable change um, but basically that would be a nice important step if our sidebar was taller than our main column and we had a bunch of content in there so it's kind of a good habit to get into so basically now I've got my column one and my sidebar and what I did is I took the column, the first column, the one I knew was going to be on the left, and I did a float left. And notice that was column one. This is my new main column here. That was the first one in my HTML, so that's the one I put the float on. First one floats, the element that follows slides up next to it. Now, if I wanted to swap this around, it'd be a piece of cake. All I got to do is do a float right, refresh. Oops gray bars on the wrong side I've got to fix that don't I so what I want to do here is I'm gonna to have to do a little roll reversal so I do want to float right but I don't want that margin left to be 690 I want uh, margin right there we go so now the margin right is equivalent to the width of that main blue column so now we've got our sidebar on the left another really common way to go so what we have now is a two column layout with a header and a footer and we're actually in a really good position right here the way we've done this in the HTML is that our two column portion is contained neatly within this main div the nice thing about this is that our footer is going to be forced to always be at the bottom common thing that comes up so if I'm back over my CSS and let's say my column one say the min height was 350 pixels check this out the footer is still going to be at the bottom oops take that back I need to do one quick little thing I have to put an overflow hidden whenever you start floating stuff like this it's kinda of weird but I need to go back to my um, main content area and I'm gonna do overflow and we put a space on consistent overflow hidden there we go and that's the look I was trying to go for so whenever you have a, a, a an element that contains very significant floating elements you'll often have to put overflow hidden so that way that main element knows how tall to be to accommodate those things so now we can see that our footer is always going to be at the bottom and of course even if we went the other way let's say our column one was 300 pixels and our sidebar was 350 we'll still get that footer staying there at the bottom even if I make this you know 400 there we go that footer will stay there at the bottom and really what's causing that two things now that you know certainly overflow hidden was essential but the main thing that's causing that is the structure of our HTML our two columns are contained completely within this div so as one of these divs gets taller that forces the parent div to get taller and since my footer is outside of that parent div it just has to always be below it so there you go that's the very common two column web page layout with a header and a footer and if you were to do an inventory of just a hundred websites that you visited on a regular basis I would be um, I wouldn't be surprised if 
80 to 90 percent of them are two column layouts with headers and footers so this is an extremely column web page layout so in the next video let's try three columns